Hi, I'm Nancy Sisti, and I'm a marriage and family therapist, and I practice in Santa Monica, California, where I have practiced for about 12 years. Usually people will come in talking about what's happening in the present, but the present is always a window into some influence in the past that I can usually um, glean fairly quickly after a couple of sessions or so, and then I help people understand the, how the influences of the past are showing up kind of automatically and unconsciously in the present. So it's kind of helping people connect the dots. Transpersonal modality is helping clients to connect with a context larger than themselves. Some people may consider that to be um, a spiritual sort of thing. Some people may consider it to be a religious sort of thing. Spirituality and religion are not necessarily the same thing. No matter what people are reacting to, it's usually because they're very disconnected from themselves, no matter what the situation is. So my approach has to do with helping people understand how disconnected they are from themselves and reconnect. The range of population that I see is from 18 to about age 70. I see couples, and that doesn't necessarily mean just relationship couples. It could be, you know, mother-daughter dyads, uh, sibling dyads, family dyads, that kind of thing. Um, I'm starting a group at the end of June in uh, a transpersonal kind of modality. In the group sessions, we're going to be focusing on a process that's called inner bonding, which is a way of helping people to connect with their own really their own internal intuition, their own internal guidance, however an individual wants to describe it. The reason that I see therapy as a useful choice, I, I really see it as a tool for living in many ways. It's like people go to the gym and have a personal trainer. Why shouldn't they have a personal trainer in mental health as well? And you know, especially in today's world, which is very chaotic, and uh, it's, it's it's a really good support system. Um, people will often say things in therapy that they didn't even know that they needed to say in other circles and situations. And it's, it's very safe and it's completely confidential.